Hello, in this video we will design an offset substructure on a bar. We have already designed the bar in another session. After designing the bar, we have milled and rescanned it. To start, we need to define the offset substructure in Dental DB. We do this by clicking on element 13, select offset substructure, select the right material and press OK. We did this for element 13 until 23. To visualize the distance between both jaws, we also implemented a lower jaw as antagonist. Click Save and Design to go through the design steps. The first step is a 3D data editor. The 3D data editor gives you the possibility to edit the scan data. In this case, there is no need to edit the scan data, so please press next to go to the next design step. In the next step, we have to draw the wax up bottom margin. You will also see that the blue model appears. This is the blocked out jaw scan. You can change the block out by changing the insertion direction. Click on the model to detect the margin line. To modify or correct the margin line, please click on the correct draw tab and click on the green dots to move the curve. Press next to go to the next design step. In the next step, we can define the gap between the offset substructure and the bar. This is a quite crucial parameter, so please discuss it with your milling partner. We can also change the border properties and the undercut. There's no need to change this parameter now, so please press next to go to the next design step. Now the software asks us to block out the virtual wax up button. Please be aware that by default the insertion direction is the same as the insertion direction of the bar. We can change the properties as the offset, the smoothing and the milling diameter. Let's now change the offset to 0.5 to create space between the model and the offset substructure for the acrylic part. Thanks to the freedom of our software, we still have the possibility to modify the blockout. We can change the strength and the brush height and we can add or remove material. In this case, there is no need to, so please press undo and please click next to go to the next design step. In this step, we have to define the offset substructure itself. We have to define it with a spline. Please click on a model to define the offset substructure. Please double click to close the spline. In the last wizard step, we have the possibility to freeform the offset substructure. 
we can do this free or anatomical. Let's now adapt the offset substructure to the gingiva. Since Plovdiv release, we can now import our new ring donut retention to create more retention for the acrylic part. In this case, there's no need to create an extra retention, so click undo and click next to finalize the design. At last, I would like to show you the different parts of the offset substructure. We can do this by activating the cut view function. We can activate the minimum thickness and the virtual wax up button. And we have a perfect view of all the different parts. Thank you for your attention.